solve a problem on how to determine the stability of a system using the root Hurwitz criteria. So let's see the problem. So our problem is that using the root Hurwitz criteria, we have to determine the relation between K and P. And this unity feedback control system, it is having the open loop transfer function. It is given to us and this system is stable. So we have to determine the relationship between K and P so that this system should be stable. This is our first part of the problem. In the second part, we have to determine the modified relation between K and T. If all the roots of the characteristic equation in A are to lie to the left of the line S equals to plus 1 in the S plane. We have to find the relation between K and S and the roots of the characteristic equation, they are lying on the left hand side of this line S equals to plus 1 in the S plane. So let's try to solve this problem. First, we will write the characteristic equation of this system. So the characteristic equation is given by We have characteristic equation as 1 plus gs hs equals to 0. Because this system is a unity feedback system, so hs will be equals to 1. So the characteristic equation, it will become 1 plus gs equals to 0. Put the value of gs here, we will have 1 plus gs is what? k upon s. We have S, S plus 1 plus P equals to 0. Let's solve this. We will have S, S, S plus 1 plus P plus K equals to 0. Solve it further. We will have S. This is S square plus S plus T plus K equals to 0. We will have SQ plus S square plus ST plus K equals to 0. Number this equation as 1. So this is the characteristic equation of our system. Now using this characteristic equation, uh, obtain the root arrays so that we can determine the stability. How we can obtain the root array? The highest coefficient of S in the characteristic equation is SQ. So we will start here from SQ, S square, S1 and S to the power 0. Okay. Coefficient of S cube in this characteristic equation is 1 and coefficient of S to the power 1 is P. So odd terms, odd powers of S 
we will write their coefficient we are having one and here we are having t okay coefficient of s is t here now coefficient of s square it is one and uh, coefficient of s to the power zero is k so we will have here one and k now next coefficient of this s to the power 1 how we will obtain this 1 multiplied with t minus 1 into k divided by 1 so it will be t minus k upon 1 this will be 0 now for s to the power 0 what we will do we will multiply this with k minus 1 into 0 upon t minus k so t minus k multiplied with k minus 1 into 0 that is 0 upon t minus k. So it will be equals to t minus k, t minus k cancel out. So k will be, it will be equals to k. Next we will have 0 as the coefficient. So this is our root array. Now we have to determine the relation between t and k so that this system is stable and this system will be stable when the coefficients or the elements of the first column they are greater than zero so elements of first column of root array should be greater than 0. So t minus k it will be greater than 0 and also this k should be greater than 0. So we have two equations these. So from these two equations we will obtain the relationship between t and k that t minus k greater than 0, t greater than k and k is greater than 0. So, we are having these two relations. So, our final relation will be t k greater than 0 and less than t. So, this is the relation between t and k for which the system is stable. So, this completes the first part of our, uh, of our problem. Now, the second part is in the second part we have to determine the relationship between t and k so that all the roots of the characteristic equation they are lying on the left half of the uh, line which is s equals to plus one so roots lie on the left half of the line s equals to plus 1. So how we can obtain this? We will first obtain the modified characteristic equation. So we can obtain the modified characteristic equation by putting s equals to z plus 1. Okay, because the line equation is s equals to plus 1. So we will replace this s by z plus 1. So our characteristic equation was what? s q plus s square plus t s plus k equals to 0. Now in this characteristic equation put s equals to z plus 1. So z plus 1 whole cube plus z plus 1 square plus t z plus 1 plus k equals to 0. Solve this we will have z plus 1 whole cube that is a plus b whole cube apply the formula here we will have z cube plus 4 z square plus z 5 plus t plus t plus k plus 2 equals to 0. We have opened the squares and uh, the apply the formulas there and last equation which we have obtained is this. 
Now here we are having the coefficients of z cube, z square, z and the constant z to the power 0 coefficient. So obtain the root array for this equation. We have z cube, z square, then z and z to the this is 1, this is 0. Now coefficient of z cube is 1 and coefficient of z is 5 plus t. Coefficient of z square is 4 and coefficient of z to the power 0 is t plus k plus 2. Okay. Now z1, how we can obtain this? Multiply 4 with 5 plus t, multiply 1 with this. So 4 into this minus 1 into this term divided by 4. So 4 into 5 plus t minus 1 into this t plus k plus 2 and divided by 4. So when we solve this we will get 4 into 5 that is 20 plus 4t minus t minus k minus 2 upon 4. Okay. So it will be 4t minus t that is 3t minus k and 20 minus 2 is 18 by 4. So this is its value. And here we will have 0. Now this z to the power 0 coefficient, how we can obtain? Multiply this with this minus 4 into this divided by this term. So how we can get it? This is 3t minus k plus 18 upon 4. Multiply this with t plus k plus 2 minus 0 that is 4 into 0 is 0 divided by this term again. Okay. So what it will be? It will be t plus k plus 2 only. So it will be t plus k plus 2 and this will be 0. So we have obtained the roots array for this modified characteristic equation. Now apply the criteria that the system is going to be stable if the first column, if the elements of the first column are greater than zero, that is they are positive, okay? So if they are positive, there will be no sign change and no sign change means the system is stable, okay? So this term and this term, they will be greater than zero. So putting its value, we will having 3t minus k, plus 18 upon 4 greater than 0 and the second equation is t plus k plus 2 greater than 0 okay now solve this what we will get 3t minus k plus 18 greater than 0 and from here we will have t plus k plus 2 greater than 0 so these are the two relationships between t and k for which this system is stable and all the roots they will lie on the left side of the s equals to plus one line So we have shifted our s plane or s equals to 0 to s equals to plus 1. This is s equals to 0 and we have shifted our line to s equals to plus 1. So now all the roots they are lying on the left hand side of this line and the system is stable for it. Okay. So this is our problem. In the first part, we find out the relationship between T and K for which the system is stable. And in the second part, we determine the relationship between T and K for again the system is stable, but now it is stable around the line S equals to plus one. Okay. So I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.